it's Culper here. I was debating on whether or not to do this video, but I thought it would be a disservice um, to the person that got me into this position. Uh, very great position. I'll get that to that in the very end. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show off what I came across. New stuff. Um, this is someone that's really like me right now. Let me make sure that's not. Uh, Crazy important. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I got an LFIC. This is a Schlage. Um, it's got this really cool Insta key, and that has a wicked, wicked keyway. I could show it to you. Um, you know, I'm looking through the camera on my, uh, through the screen on my camera, and it tends to show up a lot better on video. So I trust that you can see that. Um, I had some uh, a fun time uh, going at it with that one. Uh, I'll go ahead and add that video at the very end. So yeah, and I'm not sure if I know this is is it S S F I C. Um, is that one, there's a, a shear line for control, um, or is it just the companies itself, large companies versus small companies, I don't know. I know that they're both interchangeable cores. Uh, so yeah, if you notice, throw it in the section below, or the comments below, should I say. Uh, we'll set those aside here. I'm going to save these two for the very, very end. Um, but I got a, another best here, and of course, some of you may have saw the video where I was going after Charles Bill Scraps uh, challenge lock, and I failed. Ended up getting it, of course, in a different video. But at the end, uh, I went ahead and oh yeah, that's right. Um, I went ahead and picked this. Uh, the other day, I picked it to control, which was awesome. Um, and then I lock myself out like a dummy. Yeah, so. Anyway, I have a Mako M2 on the way for that. So. Moving on. And we got two awesome Medicos. Um, so we got this one. I have no idea how. Uh, or what, what's inside. Um, it's. The pin looks a little different. Um, it looks like there's like a sheath. And then the pin coming out of it. I don't know. Um. I'm going to have to look into how to pick medicos because uh, I didn't get anywhere. Uh, but there's the bidding, and I, you know I just dabbled with it. Very very cool lock. My first medico. I have a medico out on loan, by the way, and we'll get back to him in a second. So this is the second medico. Or still the first medico? I don't know. I got two medicals at the same time, but this, this thing's awesome though. It's a key mark, and if you can see that keyway, I really hope you can see that keyway. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm going to use on that, but uh, I've got to try. But that looks like a pick breaker. Um, yeah, six pin, yeah. and it's got three keys. That's all locks I've got for this particular occasion. Um, and then I have some picks here. Looks like a great beginner set. This comes with a handle that you could unscrew with that Allen wrench down here. And this switch out to whichever one you need. Nice little beginner set, little backup. Um, here is this is really nice. It's South Road Max M3000. It's an awesome case. Uh, this is a really quality case, and that looks like a great beginner set as well. Some crazy looking bottom of the keyways there. Never owned one of these. I've seen them, um, just never seen them in use. Um, I'm sure they come in handy. That's really neat. Um, so 
but yeah, that's very cool. Can't press that. Um, this as well. Just thrown in there. Um, I can't count how many hooks there are. One, two, let's see, two. It's about 11, 11 or 12 hooks in this alone. And there's a bunch of specialty um, tools. Uh, I was told as a beginner to stay stay away from anything with with rakes. Get the most uh, uh, get the most with the hooks, and that's for lock supporters, whatever. But this has a ton of hooks, and it has a ton of the other stuff. Um, I don't know what half of the stuff is. Um, someone was kind enough to tell me, look through it, and show me that for the medical Duracam, where you have to um, lift and twist the pins and then set them set them uh, which is, is it's been very difficult for me um, yeah just putting that pin in there or this pick in there right now I'm just watching that thing turn and I'm just, it's awesome I just can't believe how easy it is um, and I've tried to make so many specialty tools for this thing uh, but yeah that's pretty neat and I'm sure down the road I'll, I'll find something else that'll, that'll help out so got that bad side. That was a, a nip X, by the way. I don't know what this one is. Uh, I've had to go out on a limb. Say softboard. That uh, doesn't say on there. Yeah, okay, we can't say for sure. Uh, got two more things. Here. I got these Klom knife pick set uh, tooling system. And these things are just durable. Um, I feel that I would break a lock before I broke one of these. Um, that is, these are just insane. Now, I did test a few of the thinner ones out. They pick it. They they, they do slide into some of the uh, common keyways. So that's pretty interesting. But I definitely use these sparingly. I will be using them sparingly. Uh, but yeah, that's that's just awesome. Um, look forward to using those in the future. I got the Southward MPXS 62. Um, and it is just, it's full of metal in there. It's got, it's got rigs, it's got, it's got hooks. Um, this was really a great find. Um, or a great gift, should I say. All that stuff was a was a gift from a very, very generous person. Um, I'm not going to say his name publicly because that's not my call. But the story goes is that I was was in Lowe's and I was looking for a quick set, a smart key. And they all look like this. Uh, not just a smart key, but I was looking for the Generation 3. When I was asking around, nobody knew. Um, so I was referred to my local locksmith. I call, called him up and I told him that uh, what I was looking for and possibly a few other high security locks that if he had you know, some laying around, that'd be great. I'd be willing to buy them. And, uh, so yeah, it turns out that he used to be a lock sporer and he invited me over and found those. Uh, found the smart key quick sets and he quickly identified two different ones, and he sent me home with those for sure, um, just so I'd have it, uh, have one. Um, he wasn't quite sure which one was which, but he knew uh, that was the difference. And sure enough, it's the squared off sidebar, not the not the circular, but the squared off. Um, that is the third gen. Um, so yeah, so he made sure I got that, and then sent me home with all of this. Oh, I forgot to show you here the, I think Chris Capone had one of these. Um, yeah, so it's a pen vise, and of course you have your selection of just about all your basic picks and rakes that you get in all your sets, and you just put it in there and, and use it. I plan on keeping this in like the emergency bag um, in my vehicle. I think it would be a great addition. Um, but yeah, just you know, for emergency purposes, 
Um, you never know. But I don't pick locks that I don't own or that are not in use unless it's the apocalypse. So, so I probably won't get a chance to use this. I'll just give my local locksmith a call for sure um, because he was very generous. Um, I did pay a little bit, but I felt it was more of a tip than anything. Uh, and again, like I said, I didn't make this video to to show off. Um, show off, you know, like, hey, look what I got. Uh, uh, it's like, hey, look what was given to me and look how courteous um, someone could be uh, so kind. And, um, and I'm definitely going to give back to the community for sure. Some of these pick sets here I'll, I'll give away. Um, and some upcoming giveaway. Um, I'm not there yet, but I'll get there. Uh, but for sure, a few of these will go off and uh, some of these locks as well. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say, um, uh, let's give a big, big shout out and thanks to my local locksmith. Sorry, I can't use his name. Um, but he is sub to me, so if, if he wants to say who he is and uh, you know, give out his, his business information, you know, go for it. But uh, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, and I, I really don't know how to go about repaying you for all this great stuff. So um, I look forward to seeing you again. Um, just whether it's picking locks, talking locks, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you uh, for watching. And at the end of this video, I'll go ahead and, yeah, I'll go ahead and show the video of me going after this one. Um, so, all right, thanks. Uh, here's the video, check it out. Oh, and one more thing. I uh, just opened up a letter. Um, I'm not gonna show you the letter. It was addressed to me and I found this, talking about being charitable. And, you know, giving back to the community or, you know, just being a, an all around nice person. Um, so yeah, I had a letter and I was like, what is this? Uh, for life, me, I didn't understand what was going on until, and until I opened up the sticker, and I, and I hurried up and put it on one of my locks that you probably remember. I gave the same look, same exact one. It's kind of funny um, to key this entry in Australia. So I told him after, hey, after I pick it, I'll just send it your way. And uh, he's got that lock now, and he's working on it. Um, so just a heads up, uh, if you want to get the same lock, the same color. Don't go if you are if you're on Amazon. Don't go to the um, uh, buy it again, but don't click the buy it again button um, because I've already picked this lock and it came with the same key bidding. So yeah, a, there's a KA number on there um, that they need to make the make it to where it's a, a drop screen to where you choose it. I don't know, but anyway, so this is kind of a funny story. Uh, but I, I called them up and they went ahead and sent me a new. <coughs> A new core with a uh, you know a different key. The reason why they sent me a new core anyway was uh, uh, because it was it came crimped again, perma crimped. So I just thought it was strange. But thank you. I don't know who this guy is. Bears back for sending me the, these uh, these shims here. So when I get that Mako 427 in um, and any new foreign lock that I don't know about, I'm definitely going to put these to good use. So thank you, Bears Back, for being so kind. Um, and now we can get to that video. Hey, it's Culver. I've got an instant key, an Insta key. Uh, let's zoom in on this. This is one of the one of the locks that my local locksmith was kind enough to give me. Um, he wanted to know. Uh, to let them know if I ever picked it, so um, I'm gonna try to pick this one first. I've got a lot of his locks to go through. I've got a lot of my locks to go through, um, but he just he gave me a lot more. <laughs> so, very kind of. Him. Um, let's see, so we're gonna use top of the key. Nope, that's not gonna work. So I used to using top of the keyway. I said top of the keyway, bottom of the keyway. Yeah, okay, so we got rotation. Just making sure we are going to rotate clockwise. 
try it just a bit. See, I'm gonna use a low HD from Sparrows because this really helps get in. Um, you guys see this keyway? I'm sorry. The thing is just. It's not a nice keyway, and I believe it's seven pins. And there's no way <laughs> you get to it from here. So uh, yeah, there's an insta key. All right, so let's do this again. And I, I'm sure we could try top of the keyway, but I'm gonna try to leave that as clear as possible for now. Hopefully that stays there. I might need to go thicker. I think I will. Yes. Okay, make sure core turns. Let's get you in on the action here. I'm going to start with light. Biff, click on one. Sit down two. Uh, three was crunching. Uh, this has some serrations in there, I believe. Just moving along here. Um, I want to give this a click again. This is FSIC because I do see on the side there the second shear line for that control, the control shear line. This keyway is just limited. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of the uh, Avis 7240. You know, working the Yale. Um, you really have to. Okay, look at all those pins in this fit. Try that one time. I'm try to stay this side here. Three, give it something four. My pick is barely long enough to make it to the seven. Got some uh, minute core rotation, and there we go. We're open. All right, um, and that was not a control. That was just an open. And that video is definitely dedicated to my local locksmith. Uh, thank you again for all that you've given me. Um, you said you wanted to see that fix, so there you go. There you see the uh, I'm losing my words here. The control shear line. Yeah, that's an open.